get them girls loose. TJR. Loose. You get the world loose. Loose. You don't get money. Mr. Worldwide. But I do. I do. You don't get them girls loose. Loose. You don't get the world loose. Loose. You don't get money. But I do. I do. Hello, everyone. Sean from Sub Talk Radio bringing you once again another episode. I would like first to apologize for the recent happenings on our Facebook page. This has never happened before, and hopefully it will never happen again. On the flip side, I've had the pleasure of corresponding even more with some of you, the listeners, which I really appreciate. If you ever want to chat live, instant message me, and I'll be happy to give you my number. Anyway, as you know, I was at the Arnold Classic recently and stumbled upon my guest's booth. I had a sample of their French toast whey protein. Yes, that's right, French toast. Thought it was great and figured if the rest of their line was as good as their protein, they needed to come on the show. So in saying that, please help me in welcoming Avi Javeri, CEO of Infinitude. Avi, welcome to the show. Hey, Sean. How are you doing? I am doing well. Thank you for taking time today to speak with myself and, uh, and also the listeners. No, no problem. No problem. Anytime. I'm glad you got that uh, taste of the French toast protein. So tell us about the company. I know you're fairly new, but uh, tell me, I guess, the origins. Um, so basically we started about um, close to a year ago. Uh, branding uh, started close to a year ago. And um, we launched in December. We've been, we're six months young. Um, and uh, just just basically our goal as a company, um, Infinitude, strange name. A lot of people have different interpretations of it. But um, we're just we're just basically a company that says you know uh, we're out there to show everybody that there's infinite results and they can kind of do whatever they want to do and it's it's in their hands basically and then no obstacle should should stop them from from doing whatever they want to do and being the best at whatever they want to be and especially in fitness you know. So is infinitude a combination of words or is it just something that came up or how did you come across? Oh, okay, so. So, um, infinitude, it's, it's, if you actually look in the dictionary, there's a word called infinitude, which is a state, state of, uh, being infinite or the mind, state of mind being, uh, of being infinite. So, um, I actually took that, tweaked it a little bit and put an S in there to kind of get that fit in there, you know, the infinitude. So we did that. And, um, that's why, I mean, the company philosophy and the name behind it and also the tagline, the power of existence. So basically that goes along with the infinite mindset because I, we just try to show everybody that, you know, you're, you are the only person that can, you know, basically set yourself aside and uh, um, kind of kind of surpass those obstacles that you have, if there are any obstacles that you have in, in life, and specifically fitness. Gotcha. And, and what is your background specifically, Avi? Um. So originally, um, I went to I went to school for exercise science. I, I went to Rutgers for about three years. I didn't finish actually, so I don't have a formal bachelor's degree. Then I went to a vocational school in um, New York. Uh, it's probably the first vocational school to ever open up for personal training, personal training and athletic training. So I ended up doing a year over there. Got my diploma over there, and my background is more of a personal trainer, athletic trainer. Interesting, and like most decided to to play in the supplement game. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, actually, that wasn't originally my route. I got a interesting story, kind of inspiring, maybe for those young entrepreneurs out there. Um, I, I was actually uh, after I graduated, I was working at a, a gym in New York City. Uh, worked there for about three months, and um, I was living in New Jersey, by the way. Um, and probably, probably three months into it, my my father got sick. And he actually uh, passed away, and Sorry. about five and a half, five and a half, six months later. So, and then he always and I had to take over the family business. I got away from my passion, which was fitness. So I brought myself. I was like, packed everything. I came to Florida, and then my dad always told me, you know, you know, do what you love. So I kind of took that whole fitness fuel passion and put it behind Infinitude. And now that's how. That's really how Infinitude came about. And, and what was the the original family business, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, it's 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 totally totally different. It's a, it's a wholesaling and and perfumes and colognes. So it was just something that something that I just uh, I didn't have that much experience with. But I I I, I mean I, I do keep the family business going till today. But 
just to be successful at you know what you what you love. I mean, you got to always do what you love, and, and fitness is what I loved. And my dad always tell me that as well. So that's why I took took all that all that fuel and passion and and put it behind in fitness too. I give you credit because again, it, it is a very good story. Because you know, as we know, most people you fall into a line of job that that you're just you know, you're going through the motions. You're making a paycheck. You're showing up on site, paying your bills. A lot of people are passionate about what they do, but obviously, you know, credit to you to following your goals, and hopefully things will continue to go well for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, for those young entrepreneurs out there, I mean, it's anything is possible, especially if, you know, uh, my, my only advice would be, you know, just, just always follow what you love, do what you love, and, I mean, it will take you places. Avi, let's talk about some of your some of your products themselves. I know you've got a you know you've got a small portfolio, but obviously you're starting off smart. You're not coming out with you know 50 different SKUs. Um, mm-hmm. What do you want to talk about first? Again, you've got a good good line going. Um, on. Um, obviously, let me, so so let's 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 talk about the French toast protein because you know that's that's been the limelight for us, and we we've kind of you know started a buzz about being the French toast company. And and if if especially if you see our Instagram or social media, people know us as like home of the French toast or home of the French toast protein. So um, we could start with that product. So um, and I have five different products. You want me to go through them, or you want me to just go through the, the uh, protein for you first? No, start with the protein first. Let's let's kind of analyze you know one by one, depending on how much time we have. Okay. Yeah. So so just. Just in in general, I mean, with with all the products now, specifically the protein, it's very general. We got a with the whey protein isolate, uh, three four grams of carbs, twenty four grams of uh, of protein per scoop. And the thought behind it was, you know, creating a flavor. My my thought process was, you know, I'm I'm, I'm targeting general audience. I don't like targeting only bodybuilders or only the athletes. Or I want something that everybody could relate to. So I thought about. Well, my main thing was, well, a flavor. People always hate drinking protein because it's chalky or it's just vanilla or it's it's not interesting to drink. So I was like, you know what, you got to think of something that's not been on the market at all. And people, a lot of people like breakfast. I mean, French toast, that sounds attractive. And people, I mean, it's, 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 it's something different that nobody's seen on the market. So that's basically how that came along. And I... I, I formulated a french toast blend i got it trademarked so that's that's good as well and and um it's 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 been a hit so far thank god i mean that's 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 really it about the protein you guys got to try it so, <laughs> okay so you see so you went into like most most companies that i interview they've got ideas in their mind and they go to either if they're manufacturing the product themselves or they have someone manufacturing it for them you know, they yeah. generally get a ton of different samples. You know, whether it's blue raspberries, the fruit punches, the chocolates, the vanillas, and then yeah. they go that way. So you're saying that you actually had in mind a French toast and was able to come out with a flavor profile that actually matched it? Yes, yes. And um, it was, I, I just, I saw a couple companies with these attractive flavors. Not to say that I'm the only company or the only flavor out there that has that has something different, but I was just thinking, and I was just, I was just thinking when when I was creating a flavor, I was like, I got to be different. So yeah, I, I, I went to my manufacturer, and I was like, you know, what do you guys think about French toast? And he was he was a little intrigued as well. He was like, French toast. I was like, he's like, yeah, we'll give it a shot. And and they gave it a shot, coming up with with the flavor, and and we all tried it, and it was just a hit, and it's it's been a hit. So I think that that foundation of French toast, I think I'm going to keep that going throughout, in the sense like maybe coming out with like a chocolate chocolate chip french toast and a strawberry french toast and a, a vanilla french toast or whatever etc you know what i mean but yeah. keeping that french toast space because people love it and, and, and first off i give you credit right off the bat because you're you're coming out with a flavor that is completely different and hopefully setting the standards because all my listeners know you know it's great when companies come out with the blue raspberries and the chocolates and the vanillas and it's great there's a place for them but I have so much credit for people that are coming out with a new flavor profile, and obviously French toast. Hopefully, will set the path for you. Yeah, uh, so far, I mean, so far, so far, so good. I mean, if we ever transition to being only a, a French toast protein company, I would have no problem <laughs> being that, you know. But like you said, if you can harness the, that, that is the flavor profile, and add your chocolate, your vanilla, whatever else. Again, you'll continue to make new, uh, I guess, flavor profiles, which is great. Yeah, absolutely. 
So what's, what's the next big seller for you guys? Um, so next big seller, I would probably say um, all of them are basic essentials that I think um, everybody would need. I'll, I'll get into probably the pre-workout next. Um, pre-workout, uh, my goal, let me tell you my goal in formulating the pre-workout. My goal was, for, again, it was, it was for the general audience. I have a problem with pre-workouts that, that are loaded with caffeine, and then you take it, and probably post-workout you crash. After you get a great yep. workout, you crash. So in formulating the pre-workout, I thought about a few things. I, mean, I have a special ingredient in there. I mean, not that anybody else doesn't have it, but for those who don't know, it's alpha size. It really helps with focus throughout your workout. And caffeine, I mean, I have caffeine in there, but I, that was my main point of concern because I think that was the reason I used to crash from taking previous pre-workouts. So I have almost a third of caffeine or half half to a third of caffeine what a normal pre-workout would have. And I did that because, you know, you teach the body to build tolerance at a lower level. And then it would allow people to not build such a high tolerance for caffeine. So I, have a, I, think, it's, I think it's right around 100 grams of uh, caffeine, 100 milligrams of caffeine and, um, uh, per scoop, which if you look at some other, some other brands, you're talking about like 200, 300 per scoop. And yes. it definitely does help with the um, the, cra- the the post the post workout crash. You don't get that. You get a very clean feeling throughout your workout. Um, flavors it's called Tropical Rush. Um, it's a very tropical flavor. People love it. Um, and that, that's really about it. I don't want to even get into saying that I have these amazing ingredients in there that is that that set me aside. It's not really about that, but it's just the thought process of of what it, what it took to to create it and not and and. To, audience audience and not only the elite athletes and i mean here's something i want to bring up to, if people are not familiar with your site or the product the first positive i have to say is you have what i what i call an open label where, where there's no prop lens everything is fully disclosed so again you know props to you no no pun intended kudos to you the other yeah. thing which i think is very interesting is you've got as you mentioned your caffeine is a little bit lower you got 100 milligrams but yeah. you've got 60 servings in the in the in the tub, I guess I'll say the tub or or, or the container. Yeah. So mm-hmm. for most most of the head, most of the bodybuilders per se that are using two, that are using two to three hundred milligrams of caffeine, they can take two to three scoops of this and still get twenty to thirty servings out of this, which basically equals, you know, where I'm going with this. But again, I don't know if you did that on purpose, but you seem very smart with how you did this. Yeah, that's exactly how I did it, Sean. So that's that's exactly I did it with the exact thought process. And 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 for those again, for those beginners, um, it would last them maybe two months. You know, if you have sixty servings, you're taking one scoop, one scoop every day or every other day it could last them two months. And and for those bodybuilders who do have a a higher tolerance, or for those elite athletes who do have a higher tolerance, yes, yeah, two to three scoops, but they still get a solid twenty to twenty five or thirty servings out of it. And, again, that should be a great seller for you because some people are, you know, they're doing two or three scoops of a regular 30 container and they're going through it in, you know, a week and a half. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So what's what's next for you guys that you'd like to discuss um, as products? As products, uh, well, we have we have three, again, three products left. Um, I'm not going to get too much into the creatine. Creatine, That's fine. creatine is a multivitamin. Um, the creatine, I'll just get in just just basics. It's creatine Magna Power. Um, I mean, I'm, for those who are familiar with Magna Power, it's a lot of people like to take Magna Power because you know uh, it avoids the the water retention, the bloating, and all that stuff. So uh, compared to creatine monohydrate and 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 Crea Pure and all those on the market, so I just have the basic essential. Um, uh, creatine and then a multivitamin. I mean, I have I have a multivitamin formulation made for again. Oh, all my products, by the way, are for are, they're universal for uh, males and females both. So I don't have a separate line for the females, separate lines for males. I just the p- ingredients in all of them they're universal. Everybody can take it. So I felt like that's something else that set us aside as well. Um, back to the multivitamin though. Well, same thing, multivitamin. Uh, only thing a little bit different is I have a um, a formulation of BCAAs in my multivitamin, so that's a little bit different, not the usual in all multivitamins. And then um, the fat burner, fat burner, just basic ingredients I have, uh, which you would find in in, in um, a normal fat burner, but more more natural 
ingredients as far as we got the caffeine in there, which is usually a basic ingredient. We have the yohimbi bark and the cayenne pepper, which are two key essential ingredients for, for a fat burner. Nothing nothing that's illegal on the market, everything clean, um, just just FDA-approved um, uh, ingredients. Like, we follow the guidelines. Obviously, our supplements are not FDA-approved, but we follow the guidelines. Now, if you're not comfortable in, in answering this, please, you know, don't, don't take it wrong. I'm a big caffeine person. In fact, of the I'm caffeine sensitive, I mean, I usually, I'm usually comfortable at 150, 200 milligrams, and I think we're too over-caffeinated as a fitness, bodybuilding, you know, exercise world. So can I, can I ask you just in your, your fat burner how much caffeine is in each tablet? Or capsule? Um, yeah. Uh, so, tell you the truth, we have like it's that's that's one one um product that we have a, a a proprietary blend in there. Our caffeine per per pill is right around I believe seventy five milligrams to hundred milligrams, okay. right around there. I don't have the exact exact milligrams on me, but um that's that's how it is. You take two capsules a day, so it's again right around the hundred milligram mark. It's nothing 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 more nothing less. And, and I appreciate you disclosing that, you know, because I noticed one of the things is obviously if you take it, uh, you know, in a PM workout, you know, again, 100 and, you know, 100, 150 milligrams if they just take two tablets or if they take one, you know, hopefully that's enough to give somebody a good lift but not keep them awake all night. Exactly, exactly. And and that's that, that's that's the main purpose for, 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 for the supplements in general. I mean, I don't, I don't, my goal is not to, you know, to, to, to make somebody feel I mean, give give them the results that they want for 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 the first month, which I've I've gone through a lot of supplements. I mean, that I've I've done great after the first month, but then after that, I mean, then you, you, your your tolerance went so high with caffeine, so you feel like nothing works for you, you know. So so the, these things I kept in mind when I when I was creating my products, these things that that were some somewhat obstacles for me going through my fitness journey. Now, Avi, how do you folks approach R&D? In other words, how do you know maybe what the next product you want to come out with is? I mean, is it all you, or do you have a team? Yeah. How does it work? Um, so I'll tell you the truth, we're a very small team. Um, and R&D, as far as that, it's, it's really all me. Um, I'll tell you that with formulating these products, has, it's, it's solely based off of my experience and what I've experienced as an individual taking supplements from being in high school all the way through college and all the way till present day. Um, I think I've taken a ton of supplements, but becoming more advanced in that category, I think uh, that's, that's obviously my goal. But I think with whatever knowledge I've gained over the years to formulate the products that we have, it's solely been from me and my experience. Interesting. So, what's is there anything that you're working on now that you can disclose? Um, is there something to look forward to? Yes. Yes. Um, definitely. It was uh, de- definitely um, another French toast flavor, and it's most likely going to be a chocolate chip French toast, which would which would be the next product. Um, is do I have a timetable of when? Not really. I don't have it right now because um, again we're newer. But that's that's the next thing you know, uh, next thing cooking at the moment. Anything, anything you anything you're thinking about for like an intro or a BCAA because those seem very popular as well right now. Yeah, um, the uh, BCAs. It's it's kind of it's it's, it's a debatable um, supplement for me. I, I've I've seen research saying that it does help. Me personally, I'm not a person that takes BCAs. Not to say that I wouldn't release a product like that, but I I, I think you know eating the right foods and and whole foods is the right way about going about getting your you know the, 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 those specific chain aminos that you need. Um, so I don't know. I don't want to say I would come out with a BCA blend. I know it's popular, but I don't want to do something that I don't really believe in. If you get what I mean? Of course. Yes. So no, that's, I, I that, think that's, that's pretty good. Yes. So it, anything else besides the new protein, or or, or I should say um, the new flavor protein? That's, that's, that's it. You know, um, uh, we have a lot on our plate right now. We've we've I mean, for a young company, came out with five different products. We've uh, we've kind of hit all the essentials that an individual would need when either beginning their fitness journey or or kind of ele- I mean, just taking their fitness journey to another level. Um, but right now, I mean, I think we're, what we're going to do because I mean, you think of all these other brands. Um, I mean, you think of Cellular Core and you think of uh, C4, right? Or you think of BSN, you think of NL Explode. Well, 
I want people to think of Infinitude and think of the French Toast Protein. And I'm going to stick with that and kind of, you know, grow that in the market. No, I think that's I think that's very smart. So what's so maybe what's the the one year and maybe the three year plan of the company, or do you have one? Um. Well, the next one year, obviously the one year old now. uh, Yeah, uh, I'm I'm a lot further in a year than I than I expected to be. So I can start off by saying that. Um, tell you the truth, I just I just. Sorry, what what were you going to say when you when you say when you say that further along? Do you mean? Financially, or products, or combination, or, or what do you base that on? Um, prop, just let, let's let's just. I'm gonna go solely based off of of kind of what we got from our customers and and what people think about the brand. I mean, people people look at the brand, hold the brand at a really high standard, and and, and it's such a such a such a small and we have such a small maturity period, and that's that's like that's more humbling than anything as far as finances and capital and all that stuff where we stand we're we're young so we're going to grow as 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 time goes on you know um but but that's that is 3 years from now i mean i would i would like to be i would definitely like to be the leading supplement company that's for sure we're trying to get in the power line which is um which is going to be an add on probably mid summer or or towards the end of the summer so that's something to look forward to as well but we're kind of you know sticking to the supplements right now sticking to the foundation what what is the power line obviously uh, the, what, what was that? Did you just said you're looking towards a power line? Did you use that word power line? Oh no, no, in in apparel line. Sorry, like clothing. Oh, apparel. oh okay, okay, gotcha. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it was oh, it was in apparel line. Yeah. So we we have stuff designed, and and right now, I mean, when we do when we do kind of release some of the clothing online, it's 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 more for promotional promotional aspects and and for people to kind of you know wear the company out there. But my goal. To, is to take that uh, that that apparel and clothing line to another level because um, I kind of like that that feel that Nike has that Under Armour has and we kind of we kind of have that feel in the supplement industry. If you kind of look at us our our website, we um uh, we're very different. We don't look like a, we don't have like a big bodybuilder you know right smack front in our website. You know it's just very general friendly everyday people. You know what I mean? Yes. And that, that's what I have to, that's the one thing I have to I have to commend you on because a lot of the you know again I was at the Arnold and I was I was intrigued impressed but also befuddled in in a lot of different ways where you walk by I would walk by one booth I don't want to name drop but I'd walk by one booth <clears throat> excuse me and all the women were were dressed in you know very scantily clad but they mm-hmm. looked like that they were about two years out from stepping on stage or being a fitness model or something and the first exactly. thing that's going through my mind is you know put some clothes on. And then, exactly. and then you go to the next, you know, look, say, say to myself, looking at the girl saying, you know, put some clothes on because you're just totally out of shape. You're supposed to be representing your company, not, not you folks. Mm-hmm. But then you, go to another, then you go to another booth and the women look fantastic, you know, six-pack or lean. But then when I went by you guys, the women were in shape, but they were very, and I want to, I want to say this nicely, but very natural looking. So I don't exactly. know if they, you know, between you and I, I don't know if there were if there were athletes of yours or just some friends or, but you know, from what I saw, I was impressed. I mean, honestly. Yeah, and they were they were all my athletes. Um, and my goal is, I mean, I, I, I from the start, I never wanted to be the face of the brand. I wanted my athletes to be the face of the brand because I think you know, those individuals that have those are all those are my my guys like that 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 their passion is what fuels my company and and. And I, when I went out looking for them, I mean, I did not look at how tall they were or w- what they did or what, I mean, I mean, as far as their hobbies and their activities, yes, but it was solely on, on, on their passion and what they loved. I mean, if you see us, we're probably, we probably the only company that have like athletes that are like five foot or five foot two. Everybody has tall women, you know, tall women either that are models or whatever they do, but we have everybody and, Whatever they do, they do they do it to their best, you know. So that was, that's, that's, no, that's that, that, you. That was, go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry. So no problem. Go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm done. Is that is that is that to make you look big in pictures? I don't know how tall you are, but is that to make you look like a big guy? <laughs> how tall the people? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm 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 right around six foot. So I do have. There's there's a girl. There's one of our girl athletes. Uh, she well, women athletes. She's uh, she's about my height. So it's not not to make me look any taller, but. It's just to show that, you know, 
tall, short, uh, no, six pack, no six pack, whatever you are. I mean, in fitness, two is open to you. That's all. So, I mean, if someone if if someone were to go, you know, go into a supplement store, a gym, and obviously there's your products, and then there's you know so many different other lines, and somebody's walking in, they're looking for a protein, or they're walking in, they're looking for your know, pre workout. Probably the two biggest sellers right now for anybody that's working out. What really sets you know, in summary? What sets you guys aside? from the other companies where I would say I want to go buy Infinitude and not buy some of the other brands you named earlier? All right. Well, this, I get this question a lot, and I'm, I won't give you a generic answer. I'll kind of just really, you know, get down to the nitty-gritty. Um, I will never tell anybody that our ingredients will set us aside because I believe that this is an industry that everybody uses more or less the same thing, and it really comes down to marketing. But we we – took a different route and, and really thought about all individuals. And we thought about those beginners who may just come into the gym for the first time, take a pre-workout, and not feel like they're having a heart attack in the gym. Or we thought about those elite athletes that, you know, that are used to taking two to three scoops of pre-workout or whatever it may be before they work out. So they're used to that level. We kind of try to we, – we cater to everybody, and we thought about what 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 needs to go into these – products to cater to all people and and also not to not to have those you know those, those temporary results and that's what our company is about we drive everybody so you know just just if you're following a good strict regimen if you're following um a, a solid diet plan and then you take our supplements along with it then that will lead to infinite results and that's how infinitude and that's what infinitude's about and that's that, that. That's really it. I, and I, again, I wouldn't lie to anybody out there that our ingredients set us aside from anybody else. But no, our thought process of thinking of every individual and how it would affect them and how it would affect them if they use it in the gym or wherever they may use it. That's that's what sets us aside. I mean, what else? What else would might you want to? I mean, you've been very kind in answering all my questions, and, and on behalf of the listeners, what uh, is there anything else you'd like to to talk about on behalf of the company? Um, sure. I mean. Few things. Uh, I don't know if, if if there's a lot of people that that know about the Europa Games. Are you familiar with the? You guys, you're familiar with the Europa Games, right? Correct. Yeah. So, um, um, just just a recap. We we were a uh, bronze level sponsor for for the Arnold. Um, now we're going into uh, the Europa Games as a VIP sponsor. So we're gonna be in um we're gonna be in Orlando in May. Uh, then it's gonna be Atlantic City. No, so then it's going to be Dallas, Atlantic City, and Phoenix. So we're going to be all over the United States in the next five to six months. So for those people that uh, do visit the Europa Games, do visit us, and um, and that's that's really about it. We're doing we were actually we're actually doing an athlete search um, at the moment. We're announcing the winner. Uh, so it's going to be a male and a female, uh, probably in the next two to three days. Um, so people, I mean, you guys can look out for that. We're, we're bringing on two more, two more new athletes, and uh, uh, otherwise, that's that's really about it. Avi, mean, you mentioned something just a minute ago with with the sponsorships, the platinum, and, and I believe you might have said gold. For people not familiar, what does that exactly mean? Obviously, you'll be at the shows, but what does that mean? That they're higher? No problem. Um, so for the Arnold, I'll give you an example. We did we did a bronze level sponsor. There's bronze, silver, uh, I believe gold. Uh, but we did the lowest tier. It's, it's just honestly, it's just a, uh, it's more marketing and more exposure. We get a little more advertising. Um, that's that's really it. Um, we had, we got we had Arnold Schwarzenegger come to our booth. That was pretty cool. So he comes that. over. He took, on your website, so I, I I would say didn't mean to cut you off, but I would say if any any of the listeners go to the website, it is a pretty cool little video you have on the website. Yeah, 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 and then that was that was a great experience, and and really just these tiers of of sponsorship is just it's just basically to to, to give you more exposure, more marketing, and and that's that's ideally what we want to let people know about the movement and and uh, what we're doing. So that's 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 why we're getting into sponsorships and and, and things of that sort. And Abby, how how did you guys do with the Arnold? I'm assuming it was your first. How did you enjoy it? How'd you do with sales? Um, it was it was way beyond my expectations um it, 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 we did it we did really well really really well and um it, it, the thing that helped us most was you know just giving out samples and allowing people to try the product 
nobody wants to buy anything without trying it. You're not gonna you're not gonna buy a T-shirt in the store without knowing the size, you know. So, <laughs> um, yeah. that's 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 really that's 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 really what we did. I mean, I mean, and that's what that's what captured those those consumers, those audiences that 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 we got to capture at the Arnold was just being able to interact with them, telling them to taste the the French toast protein. The French toast protein was a hit over there, and, and it's been a hit since. So, um, just to continue that and keep that momentum going. Um, but it was it was thank God it was great. I have to say, I was I was there for two days, and for anybody that's never been, to any of the listeners that have not been to the Arnold, there is, there's the big companies that sell you corns, the BSNs, the Kasparis, and obviously the smaller companies like yourself trying to make a name. But what I find very interesting is that when you go to the bigger booths, like I avoided the bigger booths because there was our wait lines, you know, again, for some of those bigger exactly. companies. But going to the smaller guys like you, and there was a couple of smaller ones just, just there trying to make a name, there was more interaction, there was more time to spend, and not just, here's a sample, move on, here's a sample, move on. So I actually enjoyed it, because again, it gave me a chance to, to network with some new people like yourself, and again, just, just a good reason to actually learn or talk a little bit more, instead of just, you know, a cattle call for the BSNs and stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. I totally agree with that. I mean, um, even uh, my our first Infinitude's first time ever being at an expo was Mr. Olympia last year, 2014, and we all only thing we did was put on a a bunch of polos that said Infinitude and kind of walked around and uh, experienced it for the first time. And uh, exactly, your analysis was the exact same thing as 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 ours the first time uh, we went to Olympia. I mean, those those big names are packed. Packed, packed, and there's no interaction. It's just kind of they get you in and get you out, you know. And and the whole irony is, and I I was guilty as well because I did I did go to some of the bigger ones during during some of the low times, but I think people yeah. expect to go to the big ones and get fifteen thirty samples of products. Where I got like one or two samples with some of the big guys, but then some of the smaller ones it seemed to be the ones that would. I mean, let's be blunt, they seemed to be a little bit more uh, forgiving with the number of samples they were giving out. Oh yeah, yeah. That, I totally agree with that one as well. Um, uh, there's, there's, I've seen, I've seen that at the Arnold as well. Uh, very, they're very, uh, I don't want to say stingy, but I guess some, some brands are of how much they give out and what they give out, making sure that they have enough for everybody. Where, I mean, we really never ran into that issue. We brought ten thousand samples out there, and we brought a thousand shirts out there. Yeah, ten thousand samples and a thousand shirts, and we, I mean, we had to, we literally gave out the shirts. At the end, we had to give them away because I mean, we were giving people two shirts, three shirts, samples. We gave people four or five samples. It wasn't a big deal to us. Yeah, I made the mistake of leaving leaving Saturday morning, so I, so uh, I didn't get I didn't get all the closing goodies. But no, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you guys had a success. So, do you think you'll be actually exhibiting at the Olympia this year, or again just walking around? Uh, so that's my goal for this year. Um, that's the only um, the only expo that we didn't get a sponsorship for. Uh, a little, little bit out of our budget. Not to say that if we don't get a sponsorship, we won't go there. But right now, we have the Europas lined up. Maybe after the first or second Europa, we'll get a better idea uh, if we can make it to the Olympia or not. But yes, that's my ultimate goal to be at the Olympia and um, hopefully be a sponsor. If not, then at least be there for the first year. Gotcha. So, Avi, where can people go to learn more about about you know the company? Um. Well. First off, they can go to obviously www.infitnitude.com. Uh, let me spell it out for you guys. It's I N F I T N I T U D E. So just just remember to put that F in there. A lot of people forget to put the F because you you start typing Infitnitude on your on your cell phone and it auto corrects. Interesting. And, and uh, social media? I mean the T. Sorry, sorry. The F is already there. Infinitude. I have to think of the word again. Sorry, I had to. I took out the N and I put a T in there, not the F. So you, said, okay. so you, you, get, what, you get what I'm saying? So the, the actual word is infinitude. We took yep. out the N. We, we we put the T in there. So it's infinitude. Gotcha. So, yeah, you, if you type it on your cell phone, there's like <laughs> you always have the iPhones autocorrecting it and you put in the infinite, infinitude instead of infinitude. Gotcha. And what what about the, uh, social media aspects? Or yeah, social media. Social media, Um, we have a – the best, I mean, our, our best social media platform is Instagram. We have a lot of motivational stuff on there. It's it's same thing. Follow um follow at Infinitude. Um, same thing with uh, Twitter and same thing with Facebook. Um, 
Facebook, I mean, we're, we're not too big on Facebook and Twitter, honestly, but um, we have a lot of stuff on, on Instagram, a lot of motivational stuff. Um, we, we have giveaways and, and, and kind of just, you know, keep people updated of where we're going to be and what we're doing. So, uh, yeah, those are, those are the, those are the best, best places uh, to, to, to keep, reach us. And, and Avi, anything else in closing that, you, that you'd like to say on behalf of yourself or the company? Uh, I'm nothing, nothing else. I mean, um, uh, everything I have to say, I, I got it out. I just uh, hope, hope everybody, you know, got a better understanding of, of infinitude and, and, and kind of who we are and hope you guys, you know, uh, follow us. If you guys ever need a, um, uh, a discount on anything as far as French toast protein or, or a tropical rush pre-workout, you guys can use um, Infit CEO 15 and you can get 15% off any purchase. Great. So once again, in fit, I'm sorry, one more time again. It's going to be I N F I T C E O 15. So it's in fit C E O 15. That's my personal promo code. Give it out to you guys. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Avi, again, I cannot thank you enough on behalf of myself, you know, and the listeners. Um, this has definitely been a great conversation. You guys have some great products, you know, and I, I know for myself, I'll be following you guys and definitely be buying some of your products. Um, but once again, we are at the close of Sub Talk Radio. Thank you, Avi, for spending time with us. And as always, be sure to follow Sub Talk on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And just a quick reminder, there's still a few more days for the 99 cent shipping at subtalk.com. Use promo code SUBTALK at, at uh, checkout. Thank you for your time. Have a great week.